How are you, son? Good, thanks. You're right. They're 80 pounds, 200 and balls over the pair. They're 200 f pounds! We're in the middle of a grassy field on farmland, surrounded by parked cars. Must be one thing, we're back at a boot sale. Saturday boot sale this time, the first time I've done a Saturday one in a long, long time. I've always been full-time reselling, but I'm now full, full-time. I'm the main income earner. So before, I didn't necessarily have to do Saturdays where Amy worked Monday to Friday, Saturday was family day, and boot sale Sunday. Now I've got to get to as many as I can, especially now with the whole lockdown situation. Yeah, I need as much stock as I can. Keep me going, get that store back up. I've dropped down to 150 something listings, which is quite low for me. I'd like to be 250, 300 quality listings. Got to get used to this getting up early malarkey again. Um, yeah, it's getting hard, it's getting tougher. It's good to be back, uh, back in the field, picking up good stuff. Another new boot sale, well not new boot sale, but new one for me. And I've been to this one before on a Saturday. Took about 15, 20 minutes, not long. Bosh, down the A130 and I'm here. Yeah, decent size. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we find some good stuff to show you at the end. Yeah, let's get in there. Let's not dilly dally. How much are the biker jackets? Are they um, different or? Yeah, they are, but to okay. be honest, you just walked off, so okay. I can give them a call if there's one you're interested in. Um, what's that? Ones. Yeah, like that one, see how much that one is. Okay, thank you. Oh, hang on, just think I think that one's 30, the Dynasty one. Okay. Alright, thanks. How much on the skates? Three pounds. Three pounds. I'll take them, please. Yeah, perfect. You got to change for a five? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I don't want to take anything home with me. Let it yeah. go. <laughs> don't tell the husband I'm selling it. I'm so big, so kill me. Lovely, thank, thank you. you. Cheers. I would have a bag, but I think mine are too. So I got bags. Got bags. Yeah, I'm prepared. Oh, yeah. Got bags. Right. So yeah. The skates are quite heavy. But... <laughs> This man came all the Yeah, <laughs> cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How much is the router? Two pound. Two pound, yeah. I'll take that one, please. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.
What's that one? Thank you, cheers. I'll get that one, please. Yeah, yeah. Go change for a five. Uh, they run out of yeah. coins. <laughs> Is that right? How much are they? Uh, All right. No, <laughs> I'll probably get told off if I got them. <laughs> yeah. How much was this one? Well, I'm asking 10. Okay. Uh, okay. Is there another one? Or is that? Ah, oh, it's just a box. It's right. a box. It's got the instructions. Yeah. In there. Take seven? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Take that one. Yeah. We got change for 10? Have you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All we've had is 10 P's and 50 P's. Oh. Right? So, yeah, that one. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Ribbon. Ribbon's in there, isn't it? That's handy. <laughs> Thanks for that, thank you. How much are they? Uh, 40 down. Okay. The okay. <laughs> yeah, they're not cheap. <laughs> How about your uh, bike suit as well? 20 pounds. 20, okay. I think they're going to be winning. I've got a bike no more, so it's gone. Ah, oh, I know. Give me a helmet, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> we do 50 for both, if I took both. Yeah. Yeah? yeah I'll do that then. It's my old post then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, not for me. <laughs> um, no, my right. I'm going to break the wax for cob stuff, which is like 13, 14. Yeah. We have 50, so I can that girly stuff, innit? Yeah. <laughs> uh, two, four, it's 40. Um, get you 10. That's 10. 
fifty. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh really? Uh, sometimes they get stuck together for me if they're fresh out of the yeah, ATM. Right. Yeah, that's great. Thanks for that. Did you want your hanger? Or? Nah. No. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, sorry about that. DMs there, yeah. I'll take them as well. Um, we do 10 for them ones? Yeah. I'll take them as well while I'm here. Lovely. Yes. Thank you. Take five for the telly. Take six. Six, yeah, so that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Try to pick it up on my way back. Yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. Move it out of the way. Cool. I put that. Uh, I won't be long. I'm nearly done. Right. <laughs> Cheers. Right. Thanks. Son. Good thanks. They're, right. they're 80 pounds, 200 and balls over the pair. Okay. 25 quid. How are you doing, man? Yeah. Oh, I've got something. Do you know them things you bought me? 50 quid. 200 quid. Can we have a bag? What's going on the box? Google it. Tell me anything. You must have something you with. They're 200 pounds. What's he saying on it? Two and a half. What's he saying? What's he saying? One and that one and two. One. Oh, I'll do you uh, forty quid. You need a bit of leeway, man. There's leeway. Thirty, thirty pounds. Mm -hmm. And we're back in a unit. Uh, I must say that was probably the best uh, boot sale for the rules, social distancing and things like that. Um, yeah. Really good, uh, lots like bigger aisles, people respect this space a bit more. Obviously it's not 100%, it's never gonna be 100%, but yeah, this is the most space I felt I had and people without reaching over me too much. Uh, well, that's how I felt anyway. I don't know if the video showed any different, but yeah, overall good and very happy with what I picked up for a Saturday. Uh, it was bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Got a nice lot of stuff, nice quality as well, and a fail as well. But yeah, I'll run through what I paid for each one and what I'm planning to get for it. We'll start with this one. Uh, we've got a Time keyboard, like mechanical keyboard, Keytronic. I've sold these before, paid a pound. Uh, vintage gamers, like PC gamers, they're like a mechanical keyboard. Like, makes the proper noise. Paid a pound. This should be sort of 12 to 18 pounds. So not a major money, but give it a good clean up. I've sold these before, they sell quite quickly. Yeah, just standard item there. Into the quarantine box you go. All right, we'll come to the fail. I'm pretty sure this is a fail anyway. I quickly looked and people are selling these for like three pound fifty and then a bit of postage, like brand new as well. Put this up. If you saw my recent sales video, I included my personal Wi-Fi box. I went for 55.99 used, like likely used by myself. Um so I thought uh, what did I pay for this? Two or three pounds it was, I think. For I was in for a sure like at least 25, 30 pounds, brand new. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's still got a seal on, never been used. I thought this was easy money, but apparently I need like three pound fifty plus postage on eBay. I need to double check that to make sure it's not just for a code or anything, but if it's worth three pound fifty, I'm just gonna put this in a charity box. Might even list it, who knows? Don't think it's worth the time and packaging materials, so yeah, 
frail, but just shows that I show everything, good and bad. In fact, I have just double checked. I'm not sure what I looked at, £3.50, but someone got 19 99 free post, brand new, 10 free post, 10 with a little bit of postage. Okay, so not as bad as I thought. I don't know what I was looking at. Um, but yeah, they go at least £10 free post, so there is a little bit of profit, but if I knew it would be only worth £10, I would have just left it on the table. Quarantine. Right, move on to these skates. I've picked these up loads since I started reselling full time. Uh, they are Rio. There you go, it's on the tag there. Nice quality skate. People like to buy these like for children and for adults as well. Seems to be a good brand. Like people like seem to like it. Well made, nice colours, sort of retro look. Paid, I can't remember what I paid now. Two or three pound again. Uh, this should be a bit smaller now I'd like. They're size one. But these are like size five, like women can wear them five or six. You get good money. Uh, for a smaller size, probably 25 ish pounds plus postage. Haven't sold these since last boot sale season, so I'm not sure what the current situation would have done to skates, but yeah, more than two or three pounds than what I paid, which is the most important thing. Do this clock next. Again, nice and cheap. I'll go upside down. Nice and cheap. Uh, two or three pounds again. Um, it's a Metamic, I think that's how you say it, a vintage clock, a brass effect, brass and black. Really cool thing. Uh, just battery powered, nothing too special, just like proper vintage, like 70s, 80s. Really cool design with the numbers. Haven't seen one like this before. But yeah, make sure it's working, put a battery in, give it a clean up. That should be a nice 25, 30 pound sale there and a nice vintage item. Back to my roots. We'll come to the TV, wanted eight pounds, paid six pounds. Got Orion uh, DVD as well. Uh, obviously make sure that works. I'm not too fussed if the DVD player doesn't work. Obviously it's nice if it does. But it's mainly for the screen, retro gamers like them. It's got a remote control. Um, I haven't sold an Orion for a little while, but prices have come down a bit. Like there's more competition, so prices come down naturally. From six pound, this should still be 40, 45 pound plus postage sale. So not bad. And I've got my big boxes to package it. So yeah, bread and butter bill payer for me. Come to this one, I haven't picked up one of these up either before. A really heavy unit. It's like a exercise-y thing. There's one of these on each side. Apparently it connects to Bluetooth, it's missing the remote control apparently, but it was only £10, uh, I wasn't sure, so I walked away, looked it up, and knew these go for over £100 easily, like £150ish, so yeah, and pre-owned as well, even as auction, they were going for good good money, so I chanced it at £10, it should be working, it's from a private uh, seller, but it was theirs, they're the trusting face, <laughs> so yeah, willing to spend £10 on it. See if there is the remote like spare on eBay, complete it so it sells quicker. So yeah, hopefully 75 to 95 I want to say. I'm not too sure, so stay tuned to the channel. If not already subscribed, subscribe button's down there. Hit that bell so you know when I do release new videos. I also do sales, so when stuff sells, I'll show you what it does actually sell for. And yeah, so that's the most important thing, what it actually sells for. It's all good me saying what it is worth, what I might be getting. But yeah, stay tuned to the channel for what it does actually sell for. This was a pleasant surprise. Um, it said silver reed up here, but it's actually not silver reed. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, the brand is actually Nakajima. Nakajima? I probably butchered that name. But yeah, model AX160. Looking it up, these are going for 75 plus, 75, 85 pound. Again, I can't remember what I bought. So tired. All this tat is turning into one thing. I can't remember what I paid. I think five or ten pounds was it? Hopefully it came out on film. I think I filmed it. So yeah, a bit of yellowing. Um, normally with like vintagey um, white or cream uh, plastic items, you get a bit of yellowing from sun and from age. Here you go. That's where it is now. That's where it should be. Don't know if that comes out. So yeah, nothing major. Still, hopefully all works. Looks nice and clean. Well looked after. Does have the box with spare reed and everything. That will help it sell as well nice little bundle yeah five or ten i can't remember what i paid but this is a nice bolo for a typewriter electronic one 75 pound sale there hopefully last three items now bought from the same person uh really good quality stuff i got from him he wanted what was it just like 20 for this 40 for them and then 12 for them done the deal for these two at 50 and then we've done 10 for these yeah, we all recognize them come to them last Come to this one, £20, so yeah, um, £50 for the boots and for this biker suit. Uh, I like picking up biker stuff, as you know. Uh, Alpine Stars I saw. Uh, if it was proper Alpine Stars, this would be worth 
quite a bit, but uh, unfortunately it's not RS Attachy Authentic Products. So not like official, but it's got like different branding. Got MCN, it's like a full body suit, all in one, nice and heavy. Here we go, MCN Motorcycle News, Alpine Stars, like logos. Oh, yeah, really heavy thing. Fair price I paid him. Uh, not sure what this brand will go for, but hopefully at least triple my money. Hopefully I'm thinking 85, 95. Again, stay tuned to the channel to see what it does actually sell for, as this is just a guide. I'm thinking, yeah, 85 to 95, maybe push a bit more. Okay, so within that deal, um, so I'm guessing I paid 30 pound for these. <laughs> I love picking up these proper Gothic boots. Uh, these are New Rock. Here you go, New Rock uh, boots, made in Spain, I believe. Look at that, it's got metal springs, chunky, proper Gothic. <laughs> yeah, I love finding these when um, I can get them. Uh, yeah, £30, quality stuff. These are blooming expensive when they're new. Like, I think it came out on the video. Uh, they were his daughters. She had to pay like 250 quid for these, which is about right. I've seen the website before. They're still making them now. So yeah, my £30 in really, really good condition. They've been well looked after. Uh, seem like a good women's size as well. I'm not sure of the size. No, I can't seem to find the size. But yeah, from my 30 should be hopefully touching £100 again. Uh, 85 to 100 Again, check competition, check solds on eBay, see what I do sell for. If there's not much competition, hopefully three figures. And then before I walked away, spotted these. I wasn't sure if they were real or not, um, but check the bottom and everything. Yeah, they're all real. Uh, wanted only £12, got them for 10 uh, Yeah, just simple Dr. Martin's 1460 boot, like the biggest selling boot. This is an unusual green colour, really nice green. Uh, UK size five, so yeah. Bang on the money for a women's size there. No scuffing on the toes. Uh, normally there is scuffing on the toes or it can start cracking uh, here where the people walk obviously in the boot. But yeah, again, really well looked after. They've been, all of this stuff seems to be well cared for, which is really cool. Uh, and this 10 pounds with this condition, hopefully a 40 pound sale there. And that wraps up today's boot sale for a Saturday. Really, really good. So that wraps up today's boot sale and for a Saturday, I'm really happy, really pleased with what I've got. We've got quality again, obviously having to pay up a little bit like with the boots for example, but paying up for quality to get that good return. That's what I'm all about. Um, I know people like to have hundreds and hundreds of listings, even thousands of listings, keep them ticking over. But I'm all about lower quantity but higher quality. 250 to 300 listings. Obviously, they've only got this space to work with. There's plenty of space. It looks a bit full, but there's loads of space. There you go, there's the chair. Again, another example. Um, I was gonna like sand that and everything, but I couldn't be bothered. I sold it as it is, um, 80 pound again, so paying up for quality, but yeah. Got it listed for 220, and it's already got lots of watches. I've had a couple of questions, so I love a good example of paying up for quality. Lastly, before I go, I mentioned about my reselling in progress badges. Said, um, obviously they're available. Still got a few left, a few in the bag here. About 100 of 150 to go. But yeah, these people have been buying from me. So thank you to everyone. I said I'd give everyone a shout out. Got C Man in, wanted a single one. Louise wanted a set of three. Craig, thanks Craig for the message. And Paul as well, left a nice message, set of three. Got William, wanted a set of three. Also Gavin, thanks Gavin, set of three, and Stuart finally with a set of three. So yeah, link in the description for the badges if you do want some, got a few left like I said. Thanks again to everyone for the support, really appreciate it. Um, I wear mine on my bag, oh, I was in a car now. But yeah, I put my little badge on my bag, we send in progress. If you do spot one out and about at your boot sales or charity shops, yeah, say hi to everyone, or say hi to each other, say hi to me. Saw two people today. At the boot sale, so yeah, nice to meet everyone. Again, if you do see me, don't be shy, come say hi. I'm not gonna bite, I'm not allowed now, social distancing. <laughs> so yeah, you'll be safe. And yeah, always pleased to meet a fan. Really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm off home now. Um, need some breakfast, I'm starving. McDonald's breakfast is coming soon though. Thank God, I miss a oh, sausage and egg McMuffin with a hash brown. That'll do me nicely. Again, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if not already. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow morning, Sunday boot sales. See ya.